Hello friends, welcome to the third part of the topic principal stresses and principal planes where previously we had understood uh, principal plane and principal stresses in the first module and I mean uh, in the first lecture and in the second lecture we understood equations for normal stress, tangential stress and resultant stresses for general cases, the four cases which we discussed last time and in the third lecture that is in the, this lecture we are going to understand equations for principal stresses and locations of the principal plane. So let us quickly go with the content, start with the content. Equations for principal stresses and location of the principal plane. So here if we are not uh, aware about what stresses are acting on the plane, principal plane, then we can calculate this principal stresses. And uh, if we can even find out the location of the principal plane, where are the principal plane located. So for finding this location, we need to have some angle. So we'll be calculating both these things, sigma and this angle. So for this, we are having the formula sigma n1 and sigma n2. That is uh, for the calculation of principal stresses. We are just calculating the stresses by sigma n1 and sigma n2. Where sigma n1 is major principal stresses. That is the plane which carries the maximum stress. And uh, sigma n2 is the minor principal stress. It, it is the principal plane which carries the minimum stress. That is, this is minor principal uh, stress. So both of this will be calculated by this formula sigma 1 plus sigma 2 by 2 plus under root sigma 1 minus sigma 2 by 2 whole square plus tau square. That is, tau is shear stress. And uh, sigma n2 is and sigma 1 plus sigma 2 by 2 minus the change is here in the sign minus under root sigma 1 minus sigma 2 by 2 whole square plus tau square that is shear stress square by this we will be able to calculate this directly and uh, if we want to calculate maximum shear stress acting on the plane then it is by this formula tau max that is maximum shear stress sigma n1 minus sigma n2 by 2 that is sigma n1 minus sigma n2 by 2 major principal stress minus minor principal stress average of that and uh, regarding this location of principal planes for that we need to calculate the angle at what angle is the principal plane located so for that we are having a formula 10 to alpha is equal to 2 into shear stress that is tau upon sigma 1 minus sigma 2 here we don't need we are not concerned with the derivation but we can just remember the we remember this formula 10 to alpha 1 is equal to 2 into tau upon sigma 1 minus sigma 2 we can make alpha 1 as subject and calculate the values if we are aware about sigma 1, sigma 2, tau and all the values. So here alpha 1 is the main thing. And uh, again we need to add 90 degree to this alpha 1 in order to get the final location of the principle that is alpha 2. So that is alpha 2 is alpha 1 plus 90 degree. Alpha 1 is angle of the major principle plane with vertical and alpha 2 is angle of minor principal plane with the vertical. Here uh, major and minor principal plane if we want to understand then we can just uh, draw a plane over here acting by sigma 1 uh, this plane EF this is theta then this becomes 90 minus theta for another that is sigma 2 side. So we can just remember alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 1 is major principal planes angle with vertical and alpha 2 is minor principal planes angle with vertical. We are required to find both alpha 1 and alpha 2 for finding the location of principal plane. So sigma n1, sigma n2, tau max and alpha 1 and alpha 2 all the things are important. So friends this is all about the third part of the topic principal stresses and principal plane. In the next lecture we will start with more circles method to find normal and tangential stresses on oblique plane. Thank you for watching.